Good evening, good morning to our Tuesday night soiree around the table of many blessings. We welcome you. And for our short 30 minute session, we're going to focus this evening on, of course, listening to our heart, but more importantly, remembrance of God the Supreme. And what is that saying to your heart and mine? But we come in love. We come probably from having had a tiring, stressful, busy day at work, or maybe with family demands and needs. But nonetheless, we come to be still in the presence of love and to search our hearts for ways that we can reawaken the divine within us through stillness, through love, through peace, and sharing agape with one another. So let us now just relax and just be mindful that regardless of how we're feeling, we are a beloved child of God and that we are loved. So let us just relax now by focusing on our in-breath. And in that in-breath, let us just visualize bringing in healing love and light And just call on your master, your spiritual teacher, whoever they are. Call on the company of heaven, the messengers of God, the angels and archangels, and all the nature spirits, so that they can come and support you as you journey towards the light of selfless love. And with every in-breath, you feel all the muscles in your being relaxing. And you can sense the rhythm of your heartbeat. Let's be still now. Let's come as brothers and sisters in love. And reawaken the I am presence within us. still and where we are in our place be it our monastery our home let us just visualize the peace and love of God around us and there is no fear only joy Feel your feet relaxing. You can wiggle your toes and just allow them sense the healing rays of love flowing up from Mother Earth, from Gaia. Sense her love coming right up through your legs into your lower abdomen and right up through your heart, your shoulders, your taut neck and right up into your head and just allow yourself be still. Be still in the presence of love. Be still in the presence of all that is. Just continue to breathe normally as we relax. And now we use the gift of free will to invite and invoke and call upon the messengers of God who will assist us, who will support us. And we can use the angel mantra, Inura, 
Inura, Inura, Senura. And that translates as angels, here I am, I come to be with you. And we call on the great Archangel Michael from the north, we call Uriel from the east, Gabriel from the south, and Raphael from the west. And we call on the great, the magnificent Archangel Metatron, who stands in the presence of God, who intercedes for us at the throne of God. Let us be still now. Let us be still in the presence of all that is, for we are a beloved of God. Come Holy Spirit of God, fill our hearts with your love, your peace and joy. And give to us the gifts of your Holy Spirit, the gifts of patience, peace, forgiveness, contentment, joy, humility, integrity, commitment, consistency. Allow us to embrace your love, O oh Father, Mother, God, but we call on you now and we ask you to touch us and to fill us with your abundant love. We thank you. We thank you, Father, Mother, God Supreme, for your love your peace, your joy. And with every in-breath that we breathe, we feel the healing presence of the Cosmic Christ. We sense his heartbeat with our heart. He sends his love wash over us as we relax. And we sense the presence of Magdalena, the divine feminine aspect of God, with Kuan Yin, with Gaia and Mother Mary, and the whole company of heaven. We call on them. We invite them to join us, to take care of us. Let us be still and just relax in this love, in the silent heart. Let us be still. the purpose. 
purpose of our living. You are the purpose of our being. We bless you. We honor you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God. Come, beloved Gaia. Allow us to share our love with you in gratitude for all you do for us, for the many blessings you give to us each day. Thank you for releasing your light energy into our being. And as we sit quietly now, we are being touched by angelic love and peace. on remembrance of God. But first, let us look at one obstacle at why some of us have difficulty. The most difficult and decisive part of prayer is acquiring the ability to listen. Listening is no passive affair, a space when we happen not to be doing or speaking. Inactivity and superficial silence do not necessarily mean that we are in a position to listen. Listening is a conscious, willed action requiring alertness and vigilance by which our whole attention is focused and controlled. Listening is, in this sense, a difficult thing, and it is decisive because it is the beginning of our entry into a personal and unique relationship with God in which we hear the call of our own special responsibilities for which God has intended for us. Listening is an aspect of silence in which we receive the commission of God. Wow. Seek and ye shall find. Famous words. How many times have I heard those in my life? Seek and ye shall find. But what is one to seek? A conscious and living communion with the Lord. This is given by the grace of the Supreme. But it is also essential that we ourselves should work, that we ourselves should come to meet with him. But how? By always remembering God, who is near and especially near our heart and even present within our heart. To succeed in all this remembrance, it is advisable to accustom oneself to the continual repetition of the Jesus prayer. And that prayer is, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. It is a mantra used by many Christians who've embraced the monastic life, but also many lay people now use that, and not just Christians. 
but our brother and sisters who are non-Christian. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me. Holding in mind the thought of God's nearness, his presence in the heart. But it must also be understood that in itself that Jesus' prayer is only an outer oral prayer. Inner prayer is to stand before the Lord, continually crying out to him without words. By this means, remembrance of God will be established in the mind, and the countenance of God will be in your soul like the sun. If you put something cold in the sun, it begins to grow warm, and in the same way your soul will be warmed by the remembrance of God who is the spiritual son. What follows on from this presently will appear. Your first task is to acquire the habit of repeating that Jesus prayer unceasingly. So begin and continually repeat and repeat, but all the time keep before you the thought of our Lord, the Cosmic Christ, and herein lies everything. Lord Jesus, Son of God, you are the Christ, the Cosmic Christ. Hear me. What a beautiful prayer. But that is the prayer of the soul seeking intimacy with God and it is so important for the survival of the soul to keep in touch with one's father mother God and that close contact I believe brings a deeper love a deeper understanding and it flows through our daily actions with self, with each other and others. Allow me share with you a beautiful quote from the little book of wisdom from His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. And he says, do as you would be done by. Since at the beginning and end of our lives, we are so dependent on others' kindness. How can it be that in the middle we neglect kindness to each other? And again he says, it is the enemy who can try and teach us to practice the virtues of compassion and tolerance. You can learn about the importance of being patient. However, the actual practice of implementing patience comes when meeting with an enemy. There we have it. So let us come now. Come back into that place of stillness. And let us hold the words that we have heard in this little soiree. Let us quietly sit in the presence of the Beloved. Lord Jesus, you are the Cosmic Christ. You are the Son of God. Help me. Bless me. Thank you.
spirit of the four winds and touch us and fill us with the peace of God. A peace this world does not understand but a peace that is so essential for the heart to reawaken the soul that will reawaken the divine within us. My Lord and my God, you are my God. There is none else like you. of Jesus with his hands on our shoulders as we sit in silence we can sense him behind us and the love that we're feeling through his hands is lifting us up from weariness into a place of complete stillness and relaxation his tenderness his love and his compassion are there for us through his gentle touch flowing through every part of us my lord and my god we thank you for your son oh beloved brother jesus you are the cosmic christ Support us, God's children, to see the face of God. we've relaxed in his presence and we are at peace now and there is joy welling up with inside us let us embrace that love now and let us not be afraid let there be no fear for there is no fear when we surrender our heart Christ speaks to us today on the 9th of January where he says I am with you and I am for you when you decide on a course of action that is in line with my will nothing in heaven or on earth can stop you you may encounter many obstacles as you move towards your goal 
but don't be discouraged. Never give up. With my help, you can overcome any obstacle. Do not expect an easy path as you journey hand in hand with me. But do remember that I, your very present helper, am omnipotent. Much, much stress results from your wanting to make things happen before their times have come. One of the main ways I assert my sovereignty is in the timing of events. If you want to stay close to me and do things my way, ask me to show you the path forward, moment by moment. Instead of dashing headlong towards your goal, let me set the pace. Slow down and enjoy the journey in my presence. And these were channeled to a being of light here on earth from the cosmic Christ. And they are beautiful words, for they resonate with my heart and hopefully yours. So let us embrace that simplicity of heart. And let us just be still in the presence of God. As we take a deep breath in now, we give thanks to the Father, Mother, God Supreme. And in our out breath, we send love, light and blessing to Gaia, to Mother Earth, to our family and friends and enemies, and to the world. And let us remember that prayer. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Help me. Have mercy on me. Be still now. Be still in the presence of love. For that love has called you by name. And knows you by name. And let nothing ail you. Let nothing trouble you. These are the words of Jesus, the cosmic Christ. When you're in trouble, call on me. They're his words. So I send you my love, and I wish you the peace and joy of the cosmic Christ. As we take our leave from you, and hand you over, to the company of heaven. Namaste. Shalom and shalom paxet bonum. Om shanti. Solo de caritas. Peace. Thank you for watching this recording. And know that you are loved.